Good morning, folks. I hope you are all safe and well um, and enjoying the sunshine on this beautiful sunny day. Um, I've popped up here for a very quick five minutes. I'm working on some um, some cards and things at the moment. And one of the things that uh, I've been asked recently is uh, a subscriber contacted me and said, I've um, watched your card making videos, but what about the inserts? What do I put inside? So I thought it would be good to do um, a video talking about uh, what I put inside a card, whether it's an insert or whether how I decorate the inside of a card. So, um, so the easiest thing to do would be to open the card and just uh, put a stamp. On. so something like that which is one of my favorite stamps just um, take an ordinary card open it up and then stamp right in the middle happy birthday or whatever sentiment you want on and that works quite well on small little cards like this this is a Christmas card that I received uh, last year and I popped it up in my craft room because I really like that um, uh, that uh, embossing uh, folder so yeah so that's up in my room so yeah so simply just popping in something like a happy birthday sentiment or or whatever the other thing that you can do is uh, use a piece of copy paper so this is just an A4 piece of copy paper folded in half, which I then use when I'm using doing something like this, which is a, an A5 card. So I'd fold that in half. I might use something like um, a stamp or even my printer to print a sentiment on the side there. Fold it over in half, open up the card like that, and then put a line of um thin a uh, double-sided tape usually i'll pop it on the back of the the insert so just run it down the side there then pop my insert into the card like that holding it carefully fold the card over and then push down and that then seals my insert inside the card and um, this is a card i've already made to go so i've already done a happy birthday insert and and put it in there so so yeah so that's the one way of doing inserts you can of course buy them or using your printer to create inserts now these are some that i've got for uh, when i was doing some wedding invites for a friend so very simply print it up with a little pattern on all four sides or wherever and then something down the side or you could just have a pattern here it's entirely up to you so but those are printies and then using a decal edge pair of scissors or fancy blade on your trimmer you can then um, create um, a nice edge all the way around your inserts which you would then attach in the same way as the regular A4 plain paper. Another idea that um, I often do is, um, this is a card I'm working on at the moment, um, I used to make these quite a lot but I haven't made these for some years so I thought I'll give it another, another go and make some more because we've got some birthdays coming up. And it's a secret message card. So you open up the flower like that. And then you have um, a disc in the middle with whatever message you want on the inside. Sometimes it's just happy birthday or whatever. So um, I might do that on my next, um, my next video. Show you how I've created the card and how to make your own template to make yours um, and what's really good is once you've got the template you can then use it on anything else you like so I've also made to go with the cards I've also made some little tags um, and some not so little tags to go with the cards anyway back to inserts um, so this one very simply I've 
use some, this is not copier paper, this is a heavier weight paper which feels really nice. So I've then used my stamp, stamped on the sentiment, trimmed it to size and then popped it into the card. What I could have done is used some of this paper and layered it underneath. So use a piece of paper um, underneath that so we've got um, some matte and layering going on. Or actually what I think I will do is cut out um, another smaller flower like that and then pop it in the corner coming out of the corner like that just to give it a bit of a bit of an oomph because otherwise sometimes it can look quite um, clinical you know and quite uh, boring on the inside and sometimes it's nice to give it a bit of a lift especially if there's lots of colour on the front um, <clears throat> another thing that I do so these is some peel off cards I've been working on um, so uh, yeah peel offs on the front and then just put a, a peel off on the inside so that just says happy birthday I will be taking this one off because I realise that this is all silver all of the peel offs on the front are all silver and then this is gold so I'm going to swap that um, just because I think I want it silver all the way through another thing I'm going to do is take one of these these flowers and pop one down here just to finish off on the inside because that looks a bit bit mean in that corner doesn't it so a little flower to add to there just to keep the the whole design going so yeah very simple way of creating a nice inside um this is an idea which i absolutely love but uh, don't do very often um it's a piece of card with a sentiment at this end and what i've done is used a die cut die uh, to cut out the sentiments and then attached it on the inside raising it up on some um, dimensionals just to give it a bit of extra depth this was uh, part of a um, a kit that I had um, and then what I've done is just die cut the, the sentiments and things and that just gives a really nice inside to the card um, albeit not an awful lot of space to, to write. There's enough at the top and bottom, I think. So there's that one. And then the other one, the one I do like doing is, um, is using some different pieces. of. So the flower on the front, the, pa the paper I've used on the front, I've then cut some random size pieces of the same and I've, I've inked the edges on these. And then what I will do is put them in and find some design that I that I quite like. Um, and then I've got, again, another piece of, of heavyweight card stamped happy birthday. And then I'll pop that on somehow that I think I quite like the, the idea of. So let's have a look, see what we can come up with. Something like that, maybe. Yeah. So, yeah, and then just glue those down. Um, and the, pro the problem with this size card, because this is a 7x7, seven seven, is that if you was to take an A4 sheet of paper, it's just not going to fit. So, you know, fold it over and you're going to have all of that left over so you'd have to cut it quite small for it to go and it looks a bit mean once you've then put it in um, so that's why I like something like this the alternative to this would be taking a square of, of paper and cutting it down so that it fits inside um, this is just a little bit too big maybe rounding the corners off to match the the card and then just again using a thin tape, I put a line of tape down there, find that in the centre and then stick that down so that it acts similar to an insert with some movement on this edge like that. So yeah, so I think however with this one I'm going to stick with this idea because I do, do like this. Um, 
when it's done. And what I might actually do is once I've stuck them down, I might again get something like this and pop that in the corner. But same pattern, just or even just do a smaller one of these flowers, the whole, the big flower, and just add it on the inside in the middle there with a stem. So yeah, so that's what I put inside my card. Um, but uh, yeah, do watch out for the next video where I'll be showing you how to create a, a template to make these. Um, it's not as complicated as it looks, <laughs> honestly, um, but to make these these cards and then you can go on and create. I think that's an envelope and that's a tag and then we have another tag. So, yeah, so do watch out for that next. OK, so I hope you have a fabulous day and uh, I might upload that on Friday. Take care. Bye for now.